Beyond Petite for Artist Gang Tuesday. And we are going big today. We're working on an 18 by 24 gessoed canvas. And I am just tearing up random bits of stuff. I've taken some book pages, some old patterns, some of my collage packs from the shop, just a little bit of everything. And I've just cut them into strips and I'm putting them down with Liquitex Matte Medium and um, getting all of the edges covered, all of the bits and pieces all nice and tightly down with my matte medium. I don't have a real pattern. I'm just kind of laying it down. I'm going kind of in a diagonal of trying to start my beginning part of my composition. So I get this dry and I have taken some gesso with a credit card and lightly run over the entire canvas, even the white parts, because when that gesso dries it gives um, so much texture. So I just dragged a credit card right across that. And once it was dry I went back in with some burnt umber and some glazing medium and covered the entire canvas and took it back off with a damp rag and some water to kind of get that grungy, grungy feel that I was looking for. I sprayed it down there and, and just kind of picked off some bits and pieces, but um, the texture on this is just lovely from that gesso. And then I'm just making sure that the edges are nice and dark and aged. So I took one of Donna Downey's stencils and all of the supplies will be listed um, on the blog, but and I used um, Liquitex Cadmium Red Deep Hue for this, um, for the blooms on this piece, that that was the base, and then I added some um, deeper colors for shading. But to start, I used the cadmium red hue. Now I'm taping off um, this stencil because I just want the blooms. I just want the poppy flower. Um, I don't want to use the stems at all. But this is a great example of taking the stencils that you have and making them work for what you want. Um, so often we can look at a stencil and say, this is it, this is all I can do. That's not true. Prime example are the, these leaves. There are three leaves here, or three branches, and I, I separate them and I tape them off into the portions that I want that work for the composition. So I can make it curved, I can fill in the gaps, I can fill in spaces with little tiny bits. I'm having a fight with my easel because right before I started filming um, it broke. So you'll see me battle it the entire video. There I go. <laughs> um, but see I have taped off just little tiny bits of that stencil to fill in some of the gaps and then I use just parts of it on other areas so you can make all of your stencils work for exactly what you want. All you need is a little blue tape. So I stepped back and I took a look and I'm like, oh, it needs a little more green. It needs something. So I taped off another few portions of a stencil. There's the end pieces just to kind of create a little bit more vines. Now I'm going back in with that same green and um, that's actually a mixture of olive green and kind of a turquoise. But I'm creating vines and I'm actually connecting all of the pieces. I'm putting the stems on the flowers. I'm just connecting it all so it doesn't look choppy, that it all looks blended and, and not so much like a stencil. That's what I love about using stencils because you can paint over them and make them look um, custom without having to do all of the work. So I'm going back in with Alzerian Crimson Hue, Dark Hue I think it is, um, to do some shading on the large flower there just to give it some depth. 
Then I take that same color and I put a little glaze with it and I kind of fill in the, the other smaller poppies um, just to give them a little bit of color to kind of come off of the canvas. So once that's all dry, I'm coming back in with my handy dandy charcoal pencil and I go around every single vine and branch and leaf and flower because that's what it needs to really come alive, to really um, come off of that canvas and separate itself and give it some depth. And of course I'm smooshing it a little bit with my fingers to get some smudge and some shading. Now I'm doing some added lines for some vines with just my charcoal pencil. Now I come back in and add even more yummy goodness with my pan pastels using the raw sienna and the black. sprayed it with my Krylon fixative. Now I've got my Liquitex, uh, that is actually, you know what, that's my Montana marker. And I'm just going in and further accentuating the um, uh, charcoal and just adding even more depth, defining it a little bit more. Now I've got my Liquitex white marker. This is actually a Liquitex marker. And just doing a little bit of white there to just kind of highlight and make a pop. Now I have taken a font that I like and I've printed it out and I used good old fashioned carbon paper to get that onto the canvas so that then I could go back in with some black paint and paint it in. I'm using another one of Donna's stencils. I love this one. I love them all. But just adding, I'm taking, I'm kind of grunging it up a bit. It's very feminine, very floral, and I want it to be a little bit more grungy, a little bit more unexpected. Now I've taken just some plain old black paint on a credit card and edged the sides, and even more grunge. Beautiful. Adding just a little bit more shading around that word so it doesn't feel lost and left out. Alright my friends, thank you for watching. See all of the supplies and everything on Donna's website. And always, always know that you are loved. Have a great day.